hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy serrano in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the samsung galaxy a23 right now because this is a really solid device that just released in march 21st 2022 and it's got its first update that we're actually going to be getting right now so basically it was released with the march update the march 1st 2022 and now it's going to be getting the may one so it skipped april right um what if you haven't watched my tips and tricks like on how to make this thing faster definitely watch it because i'm going to leave the link up here because it, it's changed the performance completely and it's made it like super smooth super fast so i just really enjoy using this thing as my secondary phone and my main phone right now is going to be my lg gax then Q until my Google Pixel 6 gets fixed, right? But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new to the channel, but uh, I encourage you to subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just jump into the update right here. If we go ahead and we just take a look at this thing, right? You're gonna see, look, the fingerprint sensor is extremely re responsive. When you put your finger on there, it's just gonna immediately unlock. It's really, it's really straightforward and fast, especially with the things that I did to it to make it quicker. The performance on here is snappy as anything. It's really enjoyable to use, actually. I'm, ex I'm still, I'm still. Um, really surprised how quick that this device is moving um when it comes to the in terms of the overall speed and stuff like that so i'm, I'm definitely going to recommend you watch that video i was talking about earlier but all you have to do is go down here where it says software updates inside of settings right okay so just go down right here and what i like about this device is the 90 hertz display of course because you're going to get that really nice um refresh rate 6.6 .6 inches it's going to be 83 percentage screen to body ratio 1080 by 2408 right so let's just just say you're watching a youtube video on here right and let's just say you you turn that on you it's going to be really narrow in the hand 20 by 9 aspect ratio but also it's got a four grams of um um internal storage on here did i say grams four gigabytes of internal uh, memory in here um 64 when it comes to the overall um, storage capacity but you can expand that up to 256 or something with the gigabytes and then 5000 milliamp hour battery but it just has a really nice feel to it it's got some a ton of features i really like this mode where you can actually get to your uh pop-up um thing right here so just a really really solid device but let's just i actually made the notification light my flash on the back and the screen lights up when i get a notification so that's what that was that you just saw on here but i'm going to click right here where it says download and install right and i'm going to just click download because right here it's going to show you everything that's new but let me turn up the brightness on here so you guys can see what i'm talking about all the way up okay and let's just see uh i really like the accented colors on this device as well um it looks like it's paired to my bluetooth speaker let me undo that okay cool so let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's go into here where it says software update. Let's go down right here where it says install. And you can see right here, it says right here that it's actually downloading. What's new, it says find out what's included in this update. And it says the stability of the camera is improved, right? That's pretty crazy. So you're gonna get some more stability on the camera. It's probably gonna increase the shutter speeds. It's probably gonna make it so that you probably, hopefully we get some like better stabilization with the camera modes, right? But it says that the overall camera has been improved with overall stability of your device has improved too which is pretty cool so this is probably a major upgrade let's see how big this thing is so it's going to be as far as the gigabytes it doesn't show me um right here but you can see it's the may 1st a security patch uh 100 and it's, a, it's about one gigabyte right here 1.2 gigabytes but uh, basically it's going to also update some of the apps like Samsung notes add-ons, global goals, kids notes, and um, the internet, the health, the smart things, the Google, the Galaxy shop or whatever, Samsung rewards, the calendar and the voice um, recorder. So those, those apps will be updated. And then it says that it's gonna increase the device stability improvements, bug fixes, and new enhanced features further improvements to performance to get the best of your device. Just keep your device up to date regularly or check the software so that you're informed whenever that happens, okay? But um, like I said, this is this is a really solid device. It's about two hundred and five dollars. I'll make sure I leave the cheapest link down below because it's on Amazon for sale, and they actually had it at one hundred, uh, two hundred and twenty, or something like that. But it's actually going to be on sale, and 
I've just been having a really good time with this device. I like the fact that you can control the notification with the side fingerprint scrolls. You could also control the um, notification when you sc scroll down. But when you're, you're in an app, you can use the side scroll. But when you're out of an app, you can use the just pull down from the main screen or whatever. But that, that happens really quickly because it's just going to say install now. And then it's going to say, please wait. So I'm just going to pause the video as soon as this thing is finished. I'm going to check out the cameras. I'm going to check out some of the improvements with the overall stability of the device or whatever. And then we'll get right back into the video. OK, OK, guys. So as this thing is powering back on, I just kind of want to cover how my experience has been so far using it. It's been really solid when it's come to the cameras and everything like that because you're going to be able to get the night mode on here as well as some additional features like slow motion and um uh, uh, there's like one more i think it was like time lapse or something but they're going to be offering a lot of features on here with the cameras compared to the a13 you're also getting the 90 hertz refresh on here so it's going to be really smooth when you're browsing through media but this is going to fix a lot of vulnerabilities when it comes to the overall location activation like sometimes when you turn your location on it, it makes your device vulnerable to outside sources and i know this is going to be released in like germany first or something like that so um that's probably going to be released in the uk before we even get it in the us here in the states so if you live in the us it's probably going to come a little bit later than if we were living in the in the europe re region right the uk region or whatever but let's just wait for this thing to turn back on and obviously i've been really enjoying this device as far as the overall performance and stuff like that so i want to test out the cameras overall performance um you know what i'm saying it's gonna they said that the cameras were going to be improved as well as the overall performance and then also the latest security patch as well as some of the samsung galaxy apps so let's just check this thing out okay now as far as overall battery on this device i haven't ran into any big issues with it it's been really smooth as far as the battery performance if i charge it up about you know 100 percent in the beginning of the day i'm gonna end the day with at least 45 percent 40 percent um, so it's been really good with the battery. You can see it did power back on with this really sweet wallpaper. It looks really good. And I like that because this thing does have dynamic lock screen. It also does have smart um, view. So you can pair this up to your TV. You could use the NFC feature on here. You could use the quick share feature. It does have dark mode nearby share. It also does have extra dim for eyes. QR scanner is built in. Kids mode is going to be built in as well. And um, you know, this device is going to be just really solid overall. It does have Dolby Atmos for gaming on here too, when you're using the Bluetooth headset and stuff. So just a really solid phone in my general opinion. You also do get live capture, live caption on the top, music share at the top. So if you're wearing a pair of earbuds and you, someone else has a pair of earbuds or like a Samsung, um, phone, you can, they can listen to what you're listening to with the music share feature. I think that's something that's pretty solid. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So you could just drag this down right here. Uh, the other features that are included, call and text, enhanced pr processing and, um, stuff like that. So let me see something real quick because enhanced processing, um, I want to see what that's all about here. Uh, look, let's just see. We, we do get live transcript. Let's put that down here. Secure folder. Dolby Atmos. Wi-Fi calling. All of these features even create a note. So they just got a ton of features up here. So Because you can't have every single thing you want on there because there's just so many to pick and choose from. Dolby Atmos, of course, with the headphones on here, right? It does say your security software has been improved, right? Um, wow, it's blazing quick obviously if you want to make your phone faster just watch my tips and tricks video about how to make it faster i'll make sure i leave that in the beginning of the video like i said before but going down into the software on here when we go into about phone and we just click software i'm going to show you right now we are running on the android 12 with the 4.1 as well may 1st uh, play uh, google play system update but down below it does also have the may 1st for the you know android security patch level so it's kind of pretty pretty much up to date let's just check, check out the cameras real quick and kind of um check these these cameras out to see how fast it does take to to load up pretty decent speed on there let me hit the shutter button one two three there was a delay there there was a delay but it was just starting up right one more time let me tap to focus uh so yeah yeah a bit of a delay let me show you what i'm talking about put this guy right here okay just go right back here you could it does tell me you could use the night mode which is pretty cool so they did when you when when it's low light it's going to automatically recommend that time it was on point 
it was real on point. So you get your night mode on here. That image came out incredibly sharp with the 50 megapixel camera lens on here. This is a side view of this guy and tremendous um, job when it takes photos. I think it does a really good job when it comes to the photos, right? Let's go back, uh, kind of toggle through some of the features here. So just to give you a quick reminder, you do get macro mode, panorama mode. So you could do close-ups on here with the uh, five megapixel camera, I believe on here. So you're going to take some extremely cl good close-up shots with that, uh, that camera that I'm talking about, which is the five megapixel macro ca camera lens. So you can see right here, really good job. Gorilla Glass 5 is on the panel protecting it. Uh, so just the, just the solid job overall in general with this guy. Um, can't really see any huge differences with this thing compared to before, but let's just open up a few apps in uh, Meta. This uh, Flossie's Ice right here. I, I don't know if you guys saw that. Follow Flossie on Instagram. He's got some some um, official custom jewelry right here, which glows in the dark. That looks extremely solid. Um, let's go into, you know, um, long hold right here and see if we can do the multi-window. Now, this is one of the new features I want to show you. If you can't get that multi-window to go work, go into settings. I made a, another video, tips and tricks video. What you want to do is go to advanced features um, right here and you want to click lab, okay? Click labs. And then after you click labs, turn on multi-window for all apps and full screen for that. So now when I go back and I click here, I can open that Instagram, right? So just this time, just this time, just this time. So now I could use Instagram in the op in the multi-window. So if you guys didn't know that, I made a whole dedicated video about that, which is pretty solid. And, it's, and I, I told you which phones it's going to work on that I have in the A-series lineup. But, you know, overall general general security patch right here, we're fixing vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities. The camera is going to be fixed um, as well. And um, like I said before, in general, it's going to be pretty solid. Uh, let me let me talk. Make see the, the make the weather widget a little bit smaller. Let's go right there. It did say that there were some vulnerabilities where people could like get into your they, they could figure out your location based on just like the the location of your weather app. So that vulnerability has also been patched up so they can't do that no more. You can see it turns to dark right there when you scroll down. And subtle that subtle changes like that just make this device like really cool. Look at that really solid stuff there i like that animation let's scroll down on the window pane and and let me click this option right here enhanced processing that's going to get faster processing for apps except games uses more battery so if you want to make your device a little bit more faster make sure you turn that on i did have a video where i said you could make sure that you make the best of your phone by making it faster but this one i did i left out so i just wanted to make sure i did this video so you could see that the enhanced processing feature is going to actually make your device a lot quicker as well so i could see already that that feels a lot more sturdy, a lot more um, quicker. I think they just added that on here because I never seen that before, but I could already feel the difference just by scrolling on here when I turn that on, right? Um, Samsung Health is on here. Let's go to the widgets. Nothing, nothing else too crazy, but they did say something about the calculator being updated. So I just kind of wanted to jump into that as well. Wow, you get the dark mode on there. They give you this, they could convert temperature units length temperature volume data this is a really complex calculator that they put on here and they even got the tip calculator so if you're at a restaurant and you're trying to um, figure out how much you want to leave somebody they got that automatically baked in i put the reminders here but you just got to log into samsung health to take a full advantage i mean samsung um what is it called you log into your samsung thing and you can take full advantage of it if you want to add your recent apps just click this button right here show recommended recent apps so when you swipe up so it's going to give you those options there so just a variety of features on on this thing and you could also go right here and add the google assistant offer on right there 
so I, I like to leave it on just so I can make my device a little bit quicker but this is just my um quick review of the brand new May 1st 2022 update for the Samsung Galaxy A23 I'm going to get right back with you but if you found this video helpful make sure you show your support and appreciation by hitting the like button as well as subscribe and get notified I encourage you to hit the bell as well and I'll check you guys later but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending on where you are have a great night later crew peace Thank mm -hmm. you.